Hi, welcome to Tennis at Home. We've got a great day for you today, and I've got a tip at the end of the session, at the end of the video, which I think you're going to really enjoy. So let's watch the whole session today and enjoy the last tip of the day. It's our best one. Right, we have three types of balance when we play tennis. We have what we call neutral balance, which is this one here, which is our basic ready position. Very, very important when you're playing tennis. The next one you see a lot of players have is off balance, which is like this, which is like this, which is like that, which is like that. That's not good when you're playing tennis. The third one, which I do like, and we see with Djokovic and our friend Rafa, what happens there is you have what we call dynamic balance. So you're here, you're leaning slightly forward as though you're going into the swimming pool and you've got your ready position and in a minute or two you're probably going to do your split step. Okay, the center of gravity is right in the middle of our body, right here, yeah? And when we move, the center of gravity moves as well, one way or the other. So what we're going to do is a nice little system I used many years ago with a very good player. We put this on their head and we have the bendy legs and we ask the player to work on their movement without dropping the cone. You see, as soon as the movement is bad, you'll tend to find the cone falls off. It's a great little exercise you can use. Yeah? Now, when you watch a club player play with bad movement, you often see this, that, and that, and that. Not good shots, yeah? Because the movement's not good, yeah? So we work a lot on our movement and on our balance. So here are a few little exercises we can do. When we put this on our head here, again, it's a lot of fun here, and you can just shadow your movement, trying to keep the balance good and you hear the balance good all the time and it's really good because the heaviest segment in your body is the head and when you look at animals like horses their heads very still and their movement is very good yeah we use it a lot and you can have a lot of fun doing these drills okay okay now I'm just going to show you a few little tips there for warming up, ready to play, getting that body using the right coordination and movement skills. First one, one kilogram medicine ball. We're warming up with a serve. There. It loosens up what we call the rotator cuff and also develops the muscles whilst we're having a little bit of a rest period here during our lockdown. So I use this for about two minutes a day keep that service, that muscle memory going all the time. And then we're here, what we do is we start to use our legs and we start to rotate. And you see a lot of this work being done on those practice courts at Wimbledon, where I've spent many hours watching what the pros do. Okay, now I promised you tip of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna just go and get the racket. Here's the tennis racket. And what a lot of people do when they play, they grip the racket too tight. You see the muscles and you lose the flexibility. Now, when you watch Roger Federer play, he holds the racket loose, loose as a goose. Same tension as your toothbrush. So you're here and it looks so easy for Roger. All of a sudden, you see there's not a care in the world. So I want you to practice with a very loose grip because as you tighten the grip, the racket head slows down. Okay, that's the end of the session. What I'd like you to know is that every Wednesday, every Sunday at five o'clock we're going to post one of these videos and I'd like you to subscribe so that you can see the series because next week we've got a really really good one coming up all about the serve how to develop that rocket serve 